Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, September 2023 prediction reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius. Uh, you could apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know for September. What's surrounding you guys? And then we'll finish off reading to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo, uh, not Leo, Saturday. Sagittarius people. Um, so um, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So Sagittarius, talking about Sagittarius for September 2023. What does Sagittarius need to know? What's surrounding Sagittarius for September 2023 for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius? We have the Seven of Cups. I mean, with the Seven of Cups and the Sun card here, I mean, there could be a lot on your plate. You could be dealing with a lot, but I feel like with the Sun card here, you're just happy. Or that you're happy, like, you know, ample opportunity is coming towards you, okay? Maybe it's regarding work, maybe it's regarding life, but I feel like these opportunities that are coming towards you, you're just seizing these opportunities here, okay? Leo energy with the Sun card. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy here. Judgment. Sagittarius energy. There's big changes coming towards you, your Sagittarius. I feel like you're not going to expect these changes. Now, these changes could involve health issues. These changes could involve your life. These changes could involve your home or something like that, or people in or around you. But there's something that's coming to an end here, or that there could be a cycle that's closing out here for you. And I feel like you're. It could be very unexpected. It could be very unexpected. Judgment, Sagittarius energy here in the Six of Swords. But I feel like this is something that, th this is nothing that you cannot handle because I do feel that, you know, this big change is happening, but I feel like you're going to move towards calmer waters really quickly. There could be a huge spiritual awakening that's happening here. You know, at some point with the Seven of Cups, maybe you dealt with some sort of confusion here. Now things are becoming more and more and more clear or that things could be becoming more and more calm. And I feel like this is definitely a huge blessing in disguise from the universe here because I feel like the universe is trying to help you out, all right? The Seven of Cups here and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. The Devil, Capricorn energy, wow. You know, what? the energy that I get from this with the Devil and the De 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 Temperance card, I feel like it's kind of like, it was kind of like, it was a battle between good versus evil within yourself here. And I feel like, maybe there has been a huge shift or that you're being asked to like trust the universe here or trust your guides and your angels and your ancestors because whatever is going on here i do feel like this devil energy is being slayed here uh yeah i i i feel like someone here has been struggling with themselves you know struggling what's right and what's wrong here you know struggling with you know you know maybe codependency and drug issues you know, it's almost like I, I, I'm i getting an energy that there's a devil here and then there's an angel here and someone just keeps, you know, kind of like going back and forth trying to figure out, you know, what to do here. Eight of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. You know, I feel like someone here is definitely facing some sort of judgment here. It could be some sort of karma that you're facing here too or that there's, uh, you know, I feel like it could be that you know, um, you know, there could be, you know, some sort of karmic shift or some sort of karmic purification that's happening here for you, Sagittarius. Judgment. Three of Swords. Six of Swords. I mean, this could be someone in and around you that could be facing this karma here, too. Yeah. I mean, someone here could be going through some major shifts, major changes here. You know, it, this could also be an indication that, you know, maybe this person betrayed you. And perhaps when this person betrayed you, you know, now this person's kind of like serving their judgment here. I mean, they could be trying to avoid this too, or that they're trying to run from this also. 
But yes, a lot of shifts, a lot of changes happening for you or maybe this person that you're dealing with here or was dealing with. Tell me more about Sagittarius, what the Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on here for September 2023. For Sagittarius, for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. We have the Four of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles. Look at you. I, 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 I am getting a feeling that this, 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 these cards that I pulled, it's someone that hurt you here. And with the Four of Wands here and the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, you're doing really well on your own. I mean, you could be really happy. Things are stable here. Things are really happy. You know, I feel like you're just enjoying your, you know, perhaps your beautiful home here with the Two of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There is someone here that you're not interested in talking to, and, then, and that's a final decision here. This is your final decision. This is your final answer here. Your final answer to this person. We have the Three of Cups here and the Ten of Cups. Um, you know, for the months of September, some of you guys could be traveling and meeting up with family here reuniting with family some of you guys could be going on some sort of family get vacation here uh some of you guys could be getting um message regarding maybe a new home that you're purchasing yeah maybe whatever offer that you put in it's being accepted here you guys could be going to the meeting for the closing here or something like that okay some of you guys could be purchasing a new home and it's going to go through or something like that okay uh, but yeah, you're definitely getting some sort of message surrounding that. Let's see what else we have here. Justice, Libra, Energy here. Two of Swords here. And the Two of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse here. And the Eight of Wands. Yeah, some of you guys could be traveling here. You know, I, mean, I feel like you guys, you know, tend to maybe travel for work here too. But I feel like this is definitely like a leisure travel. Because I feel like you will not be working here. Even if you have gone on leisure travel, you guys were working at the same time here too. So I feel like you guys won't be doing any sort of work here. You know, there's a lot of twos here too. So I feel like, you know, in September, there's a lot of decisions that's going to be made here too regarding your life. So, you know, I feel like there's just a lot of changes that are happening here, you know, not just for yourself, but I feel like especially with someone here that you dealt with here too. Yeah, because I do feel like someone here is definitely receiving karma or someone here is paying their karma. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the Three of Cups here. We have the Three of Wands. Ten of Cups and the Emperor here. Aries energy. I mean, it, I mean, you could also be leveling up here too, Sagittarius. So we have the Three of Wands and the Emperor here. Aries energy. I mean, you could be making a decision, moving on from someone here that perhaps hurt you in the past, that was really controlling towards you or was, was really, really needy and codependent. And perhaps you chose, you know, the angel over the devil here or that you chose yourself here. And I feel like things are going really, really well. You know, with the full card here, I mean, you're definitely moving towards a new beginning. You're enjoying new experiences. You've cut someone out. You know, you're going through a spiritual transformation here. You're letting go of someone. I mean, someone here could be coming with an apology here too, but, you know, whoever that hurt you here, you're just moving on from this person. I mean, you're, it's, it seems like, you know, when it comes to this situation here, you're happy with where you're at. You know, someone here is definitely experiencing sort of, sort, some sort of major upheaval, some sort of karma here, and you could be getting the last lap here because you're happy with where you're at. All right, so Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.